part two of the massive wine and spirits palette that I purchased last weekend from Barton's Discounts here in um, Indianapolis, Indiana. The first half that you saw a couple nights ago was a total of three gigantic boxes. They're probably like 24 by 24 by 20. And those three were insanely profitable. If you haven't watched it, check it out. What I paid for the total palette, my cost, the palette itself was only $300 plus sales tax. So I paid a total of $321 for this palette. That's all I paid. That's everything. I, I went there in person, picked it up, took it home in person. So there was no shipping costs, no hidden fees. $321. After the first video, okay, the first three boxes, I actually don't know for sure the MSRP of the entire palette. It wasn't listed, but the first, the first video at the first three boxes, after going through everything, if you remember... I was already at a potential selling price of $1,799 out of the first three boxes. There's still four more boxes here we're about to go through. So if you take off the 321, the initial investment of what I paid, subtract that from the $1,799, right now I'm looking at a potential profit, a potential profit of $1,478 already. We're not even halfway through this palette yet. So uh, let's get this thing going. The first palette, or the first half, everything was brand new. It was mostly looked like shelf pulls and overstock from Target. And it was a fantastic half palette. And these four boxes, actually there's one box that I think is actually a sealed case of the same thing. First palette, first video, first half of the palette, you saw several things that were still like case packed, brand new, just overstocked and liquidated. So I think there is one large box that's probably a case pack of something that we'll do that after this first box. So two of these boxes have the tops cut off of them because that's how liquidators sell them, like on the floor. So you can kind of see the top of the palette, what's in the boxes. So this one of the ones where the top was cut off. So actually, oh, we had this one in the first half palette, if you remember this tumbler set. Of course, I don't remember prices though. It'd be nice if I could remember prices. Uh, there's going to be several of the same things in, in these boxes, um, just like last time. But yeah, you got to make sure and catch the first video that I made of this palette. It was fantastic. So this thing sells right here on Amazon for $25.85. That's what it sells for, this first item. Most everything I sell for about 20% or so under retail value just to move it quicker because I've got a lot of stuff here. So like this, my honest selling price of what I will ask and try to get out of it is 20 bucks and it's still factory sealed, brand new item, another one. So top of the box, I look like I see possible, what is this? It's a big box. I think that's the only one. Uh, Sorbro Margarita Glass, set of four. I know this uh, palette had a lot from the brand called True, then a lot of the brand called, was it Twine, I think it was. So this Margarita Glass set of four only sells for $9.37, so it sells new for like 10 bucks. So I'll probably try to get, honestly, five, six bucks out of these glasses total. Kind of blow them out. Sell them like in store for like, honestly, probably like five bucks. Honest prices, okay? No smoke and mirrors here, no nothing. I'm giving you honest prices. I think we have the first thing out of the entire palette that is missing an item. It's supposed to be a two glass set. Here's the first glass on this side. This side, it's, it's, it's missing its other glass unless it's in here loose somewhere. So if that is, this is the first item out of the first four boxes that was kind of damaged or missing something so that's really good but yeah since this is missing a glass honestly i'll probably just sell this thing for a couple bucks you know actually i need to make sure and try to keep track of my ongoing um msrp i should say msrp i'm actually calculating it by my selling price actually so the first item 
plus five, six, like seven. Okay, get get that caught up. Okay, because I don't really know what the the value is, and we're gonna find out at the very end. Oh, here's a like a, a chopping block board. It's heavy. No label, no nothing, but yeah, I'll probably sell that thing for like five bucks. Not very much. We got some more wine bags. First video, first half, I had over a hundred wine bags. These retail for like four bucks a piece, but I have these priced right now for a dollar a bag, and uh, I've actually sold a few already. So here's a couple more bags. I'll just I'm gonna actually put those into the into like the total because just you know like dollar things. Unless if there's like another stack of like a hundred in here, then I'll just add like a total to it. American wheat beer, beer with beer. So just a beer glass, all right. <laughs> Try to make it sound all fancy. Fancy beer glass. Is this okay? So it is kind of like a fancy beer glass, brand new. Then there's like a margarita glass in here. Okay, a little different. How much you sell for? So this thing sells new for $26 with a really good rank on Amazon since this actually wasn't bought from uh, Amazon liquidations. I'm just using the Amazon sellers ad lookup price because it's, it's faster. Uh, but some of these items won't be for sale on Amazon since that's not the platform where these came from originally. So that's like 20 bucks for that one. Uh, here we go. Twine. Copper rim crystal coupe set. That's nice. So yeah, with a bunch of wine and spirit, with the wine and spirit palette, you're going to see a lot of like just stuff like this. Wine and spirit um just accessories which i'm fine with that this sells new for 21 bucks i'll probably sell it for like 15. but yeah like two really fancy margarita glasses those are nice like that's some nice stuff let's see i got one of these champagne glasses the tall cups got retail value of this of 20 bucks so once again, like I sell this thing for like $15 for four, these are kind of heavy too, four wine glasses. Okay, here we got, oh, okay, that's damaged. Probably what happened here is there was something heavy on top of this box, there was too much weight and it damaged these two things. But I think the contents are okay though. Oh, the contents is like a little, like a, what would you call this? It's like a creamer um, container thing. Brand new, still wrapped, just the outer packaging is kind of damaged on it. That's not bad. So like I'll sell this outside the outer package, like like the actual box, I'll just I'll just pitch it. Oh, there's there's an, an, another one here too. So the brand is Punky Up Addison T set for one. So you got a barcode. Yeah, this one will sell for probably about half price because outer packaging on it, on all three, are kind of damaged. So it sells new for $32. That's pretty good. But I'll probably honestly try to sell for like $15. Actually, I think there's a couple more in here. Oh, yeah, there's several more in here. Hold on. Hold on. Then we have one. Okay, this one's not crunched, the packaging. This one's like a pink set. Let me try to add up some of these prices. So those first three would be about 45. This pink set is probably gonna be about 20. Then we've got a couple more in here still. Yeah, I'm, 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 just, I'm just gonna leave them in here. It's the one that had the blue boxes. I see one, two, three more in here at the bottom of this box. Actually, no, four. There's four more in here. Those packaging on those are not crunched or damaged, so those will be like 20 bucks a piece, so there's like 80 more dollars. Okay, this is kind of neat. We have the Wine Bible. Complete second edition. Well, is this actually printed? See how old the book is. 
2015, so it's not a new book. But let's see how much it sells for. So it actually sells new on Amazon for $11. Has a really, really low rank on it though. Looks like it's a very fast seller. So it sells new for $11. i will probably try to sell it for like $8 or so. That's what I'll try to get out of it. We got some more wine bags. Three more there. What is this? It's a cat. Oh, it's a, uh, oh, it's a, <laughs> that's awesome. So you put all your wine corks in this thing and then it holds them all. Collect your wine corks. That's cute. See what this thing sells for. This sells new for $20.41, so, like, you know, I'd sell for, like, $15. Is my honest, well, I'll try to get out of this thing. Yeah, that's really cool right there. That'll probably sell pretty quickly, I bet. That probably won't last, last very long. Okay, I'm running out of, running out of uh, desk space already. There's still quite a bit of stuff in this box. Let's see, we've got some true untap double hinge corkscrews. Got three of those. Brand new in the package. I love it whenever I can keep saying brand new, factory sealed, brand new. These sell for five dollars and forty-one cents a piece. Honestly, I'll while wow, that rank on that thing is super low. I'll try to get five bucks a piece out of those things, you know, honest price what I'll try to get. And I should be able to get that price. Should. Close to five dollars. Then we've got, I see, okay, there's two of these in, in this box. Punky Up, 16 ounce capacity, double wall design, keeps drinks hot or cold. Is this like a uh, glass travel, oh, it's an infuser mug. You can get all your flavoring. Oh, it's still factory sealed, so I don't want to open this thing up and break the seal on it. Last thing you want to do is break a factory seal. I love saying factory sealed. This sells for $26.99 for a new price. Got two of them in this box. 20 bucks a piece for, for those two, so like 40 bucks. We've already done. That's that blue thing we've seen earlier. Okay, this is something new. Get Buck Wild wall mounted deer bottle opener. You ever wanted a, a deer face in your wall to open up your beers? Well, here's the deer face you've been trying to find. And this one is also still factory sealed. Has not been opened up yet. Sells new for $10. I'll honestly buy yourself like five bucks. This thing's pretty gimmicky. You gotta find the right person who wants to have a deer mounted on, on their wall to open up their beers. That could be, you gotta find the right person that's trying to find something like that. That could be a challenge sometimes. Okay, long, oh, these are long spears, cocktails. Packaging that thing's a little bit damaged. Uh, this is where you just put like your olives, the little things for your olives or whatever you wanna, you wanna use this for. I'm pretty sure it's for olives, yeah. Uh, for olives, cherries, so on. No, this thing's just like a few dollars, not very much for that thing. Here we got a big item. Craft beer tasting kit. That's fun. What is this about? Okay, there's no actual beer here to taste. But you've got your glasses. Nice beer glasses though. Like they're all kind of like different a little bit of a different shape each time. But that's actually a nice set right there. Set of four glasses sells new on Amazon for $33.99. Dang, that's expensive. So yeah, some of this beer stuff can can get kind of pricey. But I'll probably try to sell this thing for about $25. Bucks, which actually would be more like 25%-ish under retail. Which I think is a pretty good price. Here we have a loose bottle opener. Um, you know, like five bucks in that thing. A few dollars. Okay, a few things left in this first box. Oh, that's, okay. 
Remember, um, I think it's buried. There was a, a cup set. One of the box was missing one. Well, guess what? This box is also it's missing one. So I can actually just take this one out of this box, put it in that box, and have one box that's a complete set. So it kind of worked out in the end. There was two that were missing one glass. The sale's new for $18. So I'll probably try to ask like $15 for it once I combine two into one complete. Let's see. Cakewalk decorative straws. That looks kind of kind of fun though. If you got any kind of like fancy drinks or anything. Yeah, that's probably like five five bucks on that. Not very expensive. Now this packaging on this one is a little bit damaged. There's actually two in here of this item. Well, the first one, the box got a little bit beat up, but we got host beer freeze cooling cups. Ooh, I might have to keep these. There's two sets here though. Actually, this one is a little bit different. This is a tumbler freeze cup. This is just beer freeze cooling. Same thing, there's different shapes, I think, yeah. But they're actually like the same thing now. But you can freeze your cup. You can freeze your beer glass. I might have to keep these. So these sell new for $19.99. Packaging on things a little bit beat up. So if I sell these cups, if, I'd probably do like 12 bucks a box, which is, you know, like 40% off. If I sell them. But if I do, drop it. It'll be like $24 combined. A few more small things in this box. Wine wipes removes red wine stains from teeth for a couple bucks. Then, I'm not sure what this thing is. Holds something small. So I'll probably a few bucks on each of those little, little things. This might be the last item. Oh, here's, here's another wine bag. Let's put it back in. And that is all the stuff. This is the last thing in the first box. We got a airlock wine preserver. Might have to keep this too. $12.98. So if I sell this thing, it'd be like $10 if I sell it. But yeah, so that's it for box one. It's everything out of the first box. So after box number one, the running total so far of my estimated selling price, which would be, you know, kind of like the MSRP after, okay, after the first video plus this box, I'm at right now $2,155 so far. After the first four boxes in total, there are still three boxes left. So we passed the $2,000 estimated potential price mark already. Be right back with the next box after I box all this stuff back up. So here is the next box. It is still like a factory sealed case. Somebody wrote on the top of the box in Sharpie, gone forever. So it looks like this must have been taken out of Target system so they are no longer selling this item. So it got liquidated. So let's see what this case possesses. Maybe it's a case of like PlayStation 4s or something. How cool would that be? But this is wine and spirit, so it can't be PlayStation 4s. Okay, it's purple. <laughs> okay, so it is it is a, a, a brand new case of a packaging of tin. Let me scan the barcode. And this is true true fabrication six bottle purple non-woven tote by true multicolor. Each 10 pack sells for $7.65. So it is a six, it is a 10 pack of purple bags that hold six wine bottles in each bag. Whoa, this might take a while to sell all these, but this entire box, the box here says quantity of 100. So then it means there's 10 
of these uh, tin packs in this box. So each tin pack retail at almost eight bucks. I'll probably try to get it like five bucks out of each tin pack. So 10 of them, five bucks a pop. This whole case would be about $50 for the whole case. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next box. That is it for, I just want to do this, this, this box really quick to see what this thing was because I was really curious what was in this box. So this is its entire box of wine bottle tote bags. Third box in this video, that's a, will be a total of six boxes and two videos. So top of this box, I can tell a few of these things are just kind of uh, dirty from being in like a back room in like a warehouse for quite a while. So sometimes whenever you get liquidations, the items have been in a store's back room or like a distribution warehouse for sometimes months, years. And some of these items will just be kind of dusty and dirty just from the atmosphere around them. So like some of these things right here, it just needs just to be wiped off. Um, it'll make it look like 10 times better just to wipe off like the two years of back room <laughs> like dirt and dust. So here we go. Uh, box six. Looks like we have two of these in there. Correct? Yeah. So what we got here, we've got a home brewing kit. Lager it says. And it is still factory sealed. The entire tape here has not been cut yet. That's how you open this thing up. So this is a brew barrel, brew your own beer, fast and easy, ready to drink in just one week. Containing one bottle barley malt extract, one bottle hop natural flavor, one sachet dry beer yeast, one liter keg, and a pressure valve instruction, three coasters. How cool is that? <clears throat> I've never tried to make my own beer before. Now I'm kind of intrigued. I might have to actually keep one of these and try to brew my own beer. <laughs> see how good or bad it is. Let's see what this actually sells for first. So on Amazon, this brew set sells for $29.99 is the selling price. So there's two sets here, both factory sealed. So the selling price for these will be eh, like 25 bucks a piece or so around that range. That's not bad, but I might have to keep one just to try my hand at brew bearing. Okay, we have one of these in the first video. Uh, the true electric corkscrew. It is extremely like just dirty. The packaging is just like dusty, dirty. So it needs a good wipe down. The other two from the video a couple nights ago, these corkscrews, once I wiped them down, the packaging just looked phenomenal. Okay, sells new for 33 bucks, so 25 bucks is actually what I'll sell this thing for. But yeah, completely brand new. That's the third one I've received of that corkscrew. Let's see, we got some wine bags. Nothing like a whole bunch of wine bags. Let's see what else. I see several of these. Are you serious? <laughs> Let me pull these things out. There's quite a few in here. Let's see, anything else? I think that might be it. I might have missed one now, but okay. Well, these, there's a total of one, two, three, six of them. True taste bud, let it hang. Great for wine tastings, holds one standard wine glass, insulated neoprene. <laughs> so you hang this around your neck and then you can take your wine glasses put it in here so you got your hands free to like eat food and stuff I didn't know these things existed I had no clue well oh, these things sell new for seven bucks a piece 713 I'll try to get five so these six of them I'll try to get a total of like 30 bucks for for all six of the wine glass around the neck holders. Okay, I see several of these in here. Is that, oh, here's some more. And there's another one. 
think that might be it. So this one is a true ice pack cooling bottle wrap. So you just wrap, so you freeze this thing first and you wrap your wine bottle inside of this thing. It'll chill your wine bottle really quickly. Got a total of six of them here. Okay, this one is not sold on Amazon, so this is only exclusively to other selling platforms. But I'm guessing it's probably like, what, maybe $10? But like full retail, maybe like 10 So I'll probably try to get, like once again, probably like five bucks a piece for these six, so maybe like 30 bucks combined for all six. Well, that package on that one's falling apart. Got some whiskey glasses, some freeze whiskey glasses. Let me pull these things out. And this one, the package on this one's falling apart. Careful. Looks like I got a total of three of those. But all three, the packaging, all three boxes is kind of compromised. I need to fix the packaging. But it is the same thing. It's it's a freeze cup, a whiskey cooling glass. So you can freeze your glass and then it keeps your whiskey cold or whatever, uh, whatever drink that you want to use it for. Like whiskey or bourbon or gin. Freeze it and then boom, you've got a nice cold alcoholic beverage. That's neat. Might have to keep it set for myself, maybe. It sells new for $13.69, so the package things are kind of beat up though. So I'll probably go, honestly, probably like $8 a box. See if anybody will pay that for it. But the packaging on these, I'm gonna have to fix up. So when I say eight bucks a piece, so like there's $24. Okay, the rest of this box, it's uh, kind of a mess. Wine aerator. These are nice. These always sell pretty quickly too. That's brand new also. Brand new. And it sells new for 20 bucks. I'll sell it for 15. Okay, this is gonna be interesting to figure out how to pull this stuff out of here now. <laughs> okay, I see quite a few of these. Blush, magnetic wine charms. Your wine deserves to be dripping in gemstones. So you put these on your cup and you bling out your wine glass as you're drinking it? Okay. I guess. <laughs> okay. Magnetic wine charm. So, probably five bucks a piece. There's seven of them right there. There might be some more here buried. Here's some more of the Venturi. Two more of these. Well, and then we've got, was that copper or something? This says Mercer Copper Serving Tray. So the brand is Mercer, and there's one, two, three, four, five. A total of five Mercer Copper Serving Trays. I don't see a barcode on these things. Oh, hold on. There, just tear up the packaging on the on this last one just, just a little bit. <clears throat> Woo, that's expensive. These sell for $34 a piece. Wow, but it is a copper serving tray. 34 bucks a piece, I'll buy some for 25. 250, 75, 100. There's $125 right there. That's pretty good. We got quite a few of these. We got some corkscrews in, in here. Corkscrew, corkscrew, corkscrew. Corks, two corkscrews. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight at five bucks a pop. Is there any more in here? So those eight at five bucks a pop, it's $40 for the true brand corkscrew foil cutter and a church key bottle opener. So far, like there's been nothing that's been like there's been nothing used. Couple of damaged packaging, but that's been about it. It's been phenomenal. Bottle opener. It's kind of weird looking though. Uh, there's two more in here, but the item's missing. It might be loose in the... Oh, yeah, here's one of them that's loose. The other one here is probably... Oh, there's the other one. 
there's both of them that are loose. So honestly, these weird looking bottle openers and then one is still in the package, they're probably gonna be like five bucks a piece. Maybe. Okay, not much left in this box. Get smashed, animal coasters. Uh, whether you're wildly sober or flat out drunk, these coasters will naturally keep your drink in place without the mess. Slap a few of these beastly critters in place to tame your tabletop. Okay. That's different. It sells for six eighty-eight. really? So, that's going to be about five bucks for... <laughs> Get smashed animal coasters. Okay. Then we have a shark bottle opener. There's, there's, there's a lot of gimmicky bottle openers in this thing. That's five bucks right there. We got another wine saver. Of course, once again, brand new in the package. Everything in this thing's been brand new. Some of these have minor uh, package damage. That's about it. This sells new for fifth or fourteen ninety three. I'll sell for ten bucks. Okay, so the bottom of this box right now, we have these disposable shot glasses. <clears throat> in the first video, you actually saw me get an entire case of these things. It was a case of like fifty packages. I think I have another loose case in the bottom of this box. That's all that's left in here is just a whole bunch of these in the bottom of the box. So I'm going to try to sell these things for like two bucks a pop. That's probably another case in the bottom, so probably like another like 50 bucks for everything that's loose in the bottom of this box. So that is it for this box. This one was kind of interesting. Had a lot of brand new stuff again. Some of these packages in this box, though, it did, there was some damaged packaging. The last two boxes, there's been some damaged packaging. I think some of it is just from the weight on top of it from the other boxes. Because some of these boxes weigh like 50 pounds. They're not light. And so I think some of the packaging is just because it just got crunched because of the weight on top. But nothing's been, no product though. Like no actual product <clears throat> has been damaged. It's just been eight, nine, seven things with damaged packaging. So, but still. We got one box left, and after this box, I have a total estimated potential profit of $2,734 so far. Still going. One box left. So, so far this has been, this has been, this has been awesome. I love getting all this brand new stuff as a pallet flipper, because it's so easy to sell new stuff. Even if it's like unusual stuff, as long as it's brand new, you can sell it. So anyway, I'll, be right, I'll be right back once I box all the stuff back up. Box seven, final box. Here we go. So far, after the first six, I've been pretty impressed with what I've received out of these boxes so far. The quality of merchandise has been fantastic. Very fantastic. I'm used to the Amazon stuff where, you know, like half your stuff is used or damaged. Mostly used, I should say. I shouldn't say damaged. Half your stuff is used. I'm not used to all this brand new stuff from a liquidation. Like, I am not used to this. This is going to spoil me. If this keeps happening like this, <clears throat> I'm going to get spoiled. And it's going to be hard to go back to buying Amazon liquidations and going back again to getting out snot suckers mom washers and a bunch of used stuff and uh some uh adult toys and pallets from time to time it's gonna be hard to go back to that but of course i will because i'm a pallet flipper if i can buy the pallets cheap i'll flip them so what do we got in this looks like this one's a bunch of big box stuff let me pull out these first though whatever these things are Looks like some cases of, well, that case is falling apart. Give me one second. So there's three of these cases. It says, it doesn't even say. So what is in these? Is it corkscrew? Yep, it's just a corkscrew. Little tiny corkscrews. Brand is uh, True Tap. 
I mean, very, you know, pretty basic corkscrews. Like, honestly, these, I probably won't even sell these. Uh, more than likely, I'll just put these into my uh, mystery boxes that I sell myself. Uh, as just, you know, like little, like, throw-in stuff. But, yeah, I won't even add these things into the, into the total profit just because I won't actually sell them, per se. But in a roundabout way, yes, I will sell them, but... You know what I'm saying. Next, we have... Oh, here's another one of these boxes of the corks. There's five boxes of them. I think there's a few boxes with these. Let me pull them all out. Those are different. Just two of them. So the top box, it's missing a little bit of the top of the box. <laughs> it's MIA. These are really nice wine glasses, though. <laughs> They're really freaking nice. Let's see how much things sell for. Two boxes of them. Wow, that's expensive. These things sell on Amazon new for $43.34 for a box of four. Wow, those are expensive wine glasses. It's a uh, Spiga Louis Vino Grande Sparkling Wine Champagne Flute set of four. Sells for 40 bucks, 43. But I'll probably have Marcus things these down to like 30 bucks a piece and sell them that way, which is like 30% off of the retail price, which pretty good markdown. Nice glasses though. So 30 bucks a piece, 60 for both of them. Let's see, what we got, what we got? Let's see, those two are different, aren't they? Yeah. We've got a St. Julian Bordeaux glass, set of four. Box, this is kind of dirty too. It just needs a good wipe down. Yep, yeah, they're they're new, and I want to tear the whole box apart to get them out. That's what I'm gonna have to do to whoever buys them to get these things out of there. These sell for seven dollars and sixty nine cents for all four. These aren't very high end glasses here, so I'll sell these for like five bucks. Yeah. So then we've got Manhattan Martini glasses, same brand, set of four. These probably also aren't very pricey, I bet. Oh, these actually are twenty dollars. So the martinis are twenty dollars and fourteen cents. So I'll try to get fifteen out of those. So here there are. <laughs> are you serious? More of these. We've got more cork corkscrews. Looks like this is the packaging that they're supposed to come in. Um, so more corkscrews, like one, two, three, four, five, six of them at like five bucks a piece. So another like thirty dollars and a little bit more like fancier corkscrews. A little, little bit fancier, not much, just a little. And then this I pulled out right before that is cocktail shaker. Cool. That's nice. So brand new cocktail shaker. The brand is Vacuvin. Never heard of that brand. $16.99 new. So I'll probably try to sell it for like 12 bucks. But that's nice. So it's it's nice and heavy. It feels like it's good good quality. Okay. What are you? Visky set of two crystal glasses. These might be kind of pricey. Visky is a fantastic brand. More upscale kind of brand. Yeah, I don't want to tear the box apart to get these, these glasses out, but it looks extremely nice. And it sells new for $25.99 for set of two crystal, or these, uh, crystal glasses, like wine glasses. So I'll probably try to get like 20 bucks out of those. So we got two of these. What are these? Well, it's just, a, like, just like, a, like a cocktail glass. Set of four. Kind of heavy. It's a fancy branding in a spi, Spiagalua. The glass, or the class of glass. So you can use these things for whiskey, or bourbon, or gin. Whatever, whatever your fancy is. Sells on Amazon for $41.79. So this thing sell new for 40, almost $42. I got two of them. 
I'll try to get 30 bucks a piece out of these boxes. That's pretty good though. Those aren't cheap. It's that same brand again, that Spiglua brand. Are these the same box? Looks like the same thing, just the package is a little bit different on them. Let's scan it, see what it says. Now they're just like a set of four wine glasses. So it sells for $39.99 for the wine glasses. So I, I like this Spigelua brand. However you say it, I have no idea how to say that word. These are kind of, have some value to them. But I'll probably try to get about 30 bucks a piece out of those two boxes. So we're talking like there's 60. <clears throat> We've got like six things left. We're almost done actually. Here's some more of these Spiegel glasses. More than likely it's gonna be about the same price. So I'll just go ahead and just guesstimate like 30 bucks on that box also. So what's left in here, there are, oh these are all the same cocktail glasses. There's five more in here of the cocktail glasses that we saw earlier. That package, that was a little bit damaged though. Eh, a little bit damage on these packages, just, just a little bit. But we got five of these in this box, plus one from earlier, make a total of six. But here's five more. They sell for 17. I'll try to get 12 bucks out of each of these. So 60 bucks for these for these five. So that's not bad. Okay, so that is everything. That is all seven boxes that I received out of this monstrous palette. But I know what you guys want to hear. What is my total estimated selling price? My total potential profit? Every, like the retail, if, if everything that I went through this, I knocked off between 20 to 25%, sometimes 30% off the price. And I'm going by that. I'm going by the discounted price. My actual selling price, not the retail price. If the retail is 15, if I sell it for 10, I'm counting as 10, not 15, okay? So, after seven boxes, a total pallet, my potential estimated selling price of everything, my potential profit is $3,086. That's my potential profit. If you add back in, let's say I took off roughly 20% off each item, out of $3,000, you could add on $600 more, so that put my total MSRP probably between 37 between if I took 20 to 25 percent off of each item that actually put my potential MSRP between 3700 and four thousand dollars I estimated after the first video this is probably going to be probably about a four thousand dollar MSRP palette that's kind of what I feared probably around four thousand in that range and I was actually pretty accurate I almost nailed the MSRP or I might have like completely just nailed it I feared it's 30 like 4,000. So this was, this was very, very, very profitable. I'm extremely happy with this palette. I spent $321 after you take off my knockdown selling prices. Cause some of these things that actually sell the retail is 25 bucks. And I say, <clears throat> but I'll sell for 20. It's possible. I can get the full price out of some of these things. Some of these things I will be able to. So my potential profit is over $3,000. How many opportunities can you take 300? This pout was $321. How many potential opportunities do you have to take $300 cash in your hand, give it to somebody, they give you something else back, and with what they give you back can make 10 times your money back? I pretty much turn my $300 into $3,000. How crazy is that? That's palette flipping. It's kind of a rush. It can be addictive, but anybody can palette flip. All you need is some startup capital to buy a palette and then go find some place that sells palettes and hope you get, you know, something like this where everything's brand new and your money gets 10 times your money back. That's crazy. So, I will definitely be buying more pallets from Barton's Discounts, definitely. First time buying from them locally, it, it is a local uh, liquidator. I'll make sure and leave a direct link down below. If anybody's curious, if they wanna know, 
at this time. I don't think Barton ships pallets. I could be wrong though, but you can always contact them and ask if they would ship a pallet. I'm sure you, you could set up your own freight forwarder if you wanted to and have it ship, you know, that way. But that can get that can get expensive though. So uh, check out Barton's. Uh, I'm a huge fan of them now. Very impressive pallet. I will be getting more pallets from Barton's. I know they sell Target. They sell Amazon. They sell Home Depot. They sell Wayfair. And I think they sell Costco. So I'm going to have some fun with some of their pallets. So stay tuned for that. You will see more pallets from Barton's Discount Liquidators. So thank you very much for staying through two videos to get through this entire pallet. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you saw real life pallet flipping of what you can honestly get. And this was good. So I will see you next time. I'm out.